I wanted to take a moment to talk about simulation theory. Um, recently, Elon Musk and a lot of other people have been quoting some mathematical findings that say essentially that if we're on track to and that if it's possible to simulate entire galaxies, planets, um, in the future, or if we're gearing up to it, we just lack the um, resources or technology to do it currently, but it's theoretically possible that because it's even possible, there's like some sort of 99.999% chance that we are living in one of those simulations. Not a simulation that we're running, but we are in the simulation and that's what's currently happening and outside of us outside of this simulation is something or someone that's initiated that simulation for whatever kind of testing or um, to solve a problem that type of thing uh, it, it's kind of an interesting theory uh, but I just want to highlight some pretty important facts that seem very relevant to this type of um, philosophy. The first is, let's just say hypothetically that's true, and this is all a simulation running in some giant computer in another galaxy, and there's billions or infinite other uh, simulations going on uh, concurrently. That would not have any direct effect on us, me, this planet, this universe. Um, because it wouldn't matter. Um, I guess you could take it a step further and say, well, then that means our afterlife and our God and all that stuff isn't necessarily real. Um, but I, I would have another argument for that I'm not gonna put into this uh, video here. Um, I guess I just wanna explain that a lot of people in seeking out the fact that this could be a simulation think that this is a simulation that they can leave or escape from as if this were some sort of matrix scenario where you can just uh sign out log out take your helmet off wake up you know <laughs> and uh the sad reality is if what they're proposing is true this would not be that type of scenario and once this simulation ends we would stop to exist. Everything that happened in this simulation would almost be like it never happened. Um, my point in saying this is a lot of people, I feel like, want to confirm this is a simulation or um, a similar conclusion so that they can do something like a GTA cheat code where they're like, oh, this is just a computer simulation. Let me do up, down, up, down, left, right, A, B, start. And now I have a billion dollars in my bank account, and that's just not how that works. Uh, there's no console command for our universe. Uh, there's no cheat codes. There's no exiting. It, we are in the simulation, just like if you're in the computer game Sims, when the game turns off, they the Sims don't wonder what the meaning of life is, or get hungry, or... Their, their reality, their entire game stops to exist until you bring it back into the memory or the RAM when the computer is running. <clears throat> so I guess just in conclusion, um, you know, it's an interesting theory and I can't really disprove it. It, it is potentially likely that we are in a simulation. <laughs> but uh, again, what would it matter? Nothing would change. We wouldn't be able to leave it. And um, it shouldn't fundamentally change anything about our lives or our reality, even if we prove it's real, which just to go a little deeper into detail, people um, say that certain things we, we look at or visualize only render when we look at them. Uh, point being to the quantum and the observable quantum states is that um, when you look in a microscope, it renders, you know, chemicals and the uh, bacteria 
and you look even deeper and it renders the atoms and electrons, look even deeper, it, it, it renders the quarks and the strings, uh, which actually the fact that these are quantum and unstable, the, the deeper you go into our reality actually is, I would argue, further proof that we are in a simulation uh, because I believe that's how uh, a simulation like this would function is that it doesn't need to exert that energy or calculate that or render it until it's required, um, which is why it changes or um, acts differently or in multiple states when we get to that lowest level of visualization and concept. So, yeah, I just want to say, you know, there's no cheat codes. Uh, we're stuck here. There's no exiting the matrix. It's, uh, this is what we got. And people that want to bring it up as if it's some sort of uh, huge revelation, it's a cute topic to think about. But ultimately, why bother? It, it doesn't make any sense to focus on it. So.